quantitative variables come in two broad categories, right? discrete versus continuous. What makes distinguishing between these two a, a little challenging is this countable part. Now, that's a technical term that would normally be a little beyond this course. So here, here's a quick checklist right, that you can use to distinguish between the two types. If there's a finite number of values, for example, uh, customer ratings from 1 to 10, then the variable is discrete. If the values are all integers, for example, the number of trees in a forest, then the variable is discrete, e even though there's no way to put an upper bound on the possible number of values. If there are a limited number of decimal values, like you would like you would see when talking about a dollar amount, then the variable is discrete. Now, if none of those criteria are true, then the variable is continuous. Now, another way to think of uh, a continuous variable is that it's one that can have an infinite number of decimal values. For example, something could have a weight of uh, 10 kilograms. It could have a weight of 10.1, 10 10.01, uh, 10.001, right? There's no end to how far out you can push the decimal accuracy of the result, which puts this in the continuous category. One last point before we look at some examples. When you're thinking about continuous variables and decimal values, you should only be concerned with whether or not it's possible for the variable to have a given value, not whether or not you can determine the value. In other words, you shouldn't consider the accuracy of the available measuring devices when making this decision. So let's look at some examples. So take a minute, right, think about how you would categorize each of these variables, then come back and we'll go over them together. So the number of days someone is late for work, those are going to be integers. One, two, three, so on, right? Integers put this into the discrete category. Now rainfall levels, those are decimals. And there's no end to the accuracy here. For accuracy here, for example, the level could be five inches, could be 5.1, could be 5.01, and so on. Right? There's no end to how far can we can push the decimal accuracy. So this is a continuous variable. Now, at first. Uh, books or revenue may look like it should be continuous, right, since it's a decimal value. But the number of decimal digits is limited. When we're talking about money, you know, dollars and cents, we never go out more than two decimal places. That puts dollar amounts like daily revenue in the discrete category. Uh, finally, patient temperatures, those are like rainfalls. 98.6, 98.61, 98.601, and so on. Those are all valid results, and there's no end to how far out you can push the decimal. So this is a continuous variable. So in this diagram, right, I've summarized our categories so far. Qualitative is a single category where quantitative data has two subtypes. Uh, the distinction between discrete and continuous is going to be an important one when we start talking about things like probabilities. The tools for making decisions about variables um, are quite different uh, d depending on whether we're talking about a discrete variable or a continuous variable. So in the next lecture, uh, we're going to continue to look at ways we can differentiate between qualitative variables. So um, levels of measurement. Uh, are going to give us a way to think about what options we have for summarizing and analyzing data.